Today we are talking about Lost Origin and Brilliant Stars singles. Um, as you guys can see right here, we got a comment from Mitchell Alexander, um, and he was asking if you get a moment. Also, like your short take on whether you think buying Brilliant Stars and Lost Origin singles right now would be a good move to snowball into the next big set that comes out. So um, let's jump into that right away. Um, let's start with Lost Origin. Um, just to preface, guys, um, so I like transparency, and I like to preach transparency and thinking logically. Um, we'll start with the transparency. Um, I don't have a ton of Lost Origin, but I have a, a case and two loose boxes, and I do have this Garantina and a PSA 10. Um, I do believe in this set long term. I do believe in this set short term. I believe that this is because of this card alone that Lost Origin is going to be uh, do good things. But um, let's just look at um, current prices on this card, raw. Um, this is price charting if you're not familiar. Um, they have, uh, sometimes I like to use this because they have raw and PSA 10 prices on here. Um, so we're at about, I mean, you saw we touched 400. So we're between 350 and 400, pretty much kind of at 400 ish um, for the Giratina. Um, currently, I still think that this card has a lot of room to move. Um, if we look at PSA 10 sold listings, um, we are in the uh, the mid to high eights here now, um, 8.55 last sold. So, um, so there is there is room there is still room here. I think the pop is way less and it's way less popular than Umbreon, but I think this artwork is is stunning. Um, I think this is still a pickup. Um, I don't I can't say like how I don't really know. It, there's going to be some fluctuation on this, but usually. When the boxes take off and they go out of stock, that the uh, the chase cards and some of the other cards are going to pop. They're just a little bit delayed. I still think there's tons of room for this card to go. Um, but let's look at the uh, the other singles in the set um, on Lost Origin. So we got the Aerodactyl, uh, market price at one ten. Um, I think that this card, this maybe doesn't have the most room. Although I do think this will go up. Um, Aerodactyl being a Gen 1, but it's just not quite as popular, although the artwork is really great. I'd really like this card. I could see this, you know, maybe being like a $150 card. We'll kind of see how things play out. But this is where, like, and then the Rotom, you know, I mean, th this part of the, of the set isn't particularly very strong, where I think most of the strength for um, Upside lies here in the uh, Lost Origin Trainer Gallery. And it mainly sits with a few cards. Um, we got the Pikachu, it's great artwork, and I like this. I almost like this one more. Um, Twenty-three dollars and and thirty-seven. Um, I think that if I was doing it, I would be going Pikachu, Pikachu, and then the Sleepy Pikachu. Like, look, guys, look at this. Three dollars and twenty-eight cents. Okay, there's your upside. Keep in mind that these V's are hard to grade. Um, and you know so keep that in mind but three dollars look at this gengar look at this gengar 289 look at this charizard over here 391 this is where i think oh yeah and the snorlax dollar 59 adorable snorlax he's eating food so for me personally i do uh actually i do have a few copies of all of these um so yeah i, th I see huge upside here Huge upside on Gengar, huge upside on Charizard, and all of these Pikachu's. Um, even probably these, they don't really make these style, uh, this art anymore for this Mew and and Pikachu. So um, yeah, these are kind of no-brainers for me. I see, I see big potential here, especially long term. Um, just don't know how long that will take, but um, great looking cards. Um, now, real quick, we'll just hop over here. Um, if you guys are this far in the video, and you're not already subscribed. Ninety-seven percent of you are not. If you guys could subscribe. That would mean a lot to me, and we'll just keep moving on. Now let's hop on to Brilliant Stars. Um, Brilliant Stars, I've made videos about the Charizard. If you guys haven't seen it, you guys can go back um, and check it out. Um, I have two of these in a 10 and two boxes currently of Brilliant Stars. I'm trying to get a case or two, working on that. Um, un, uh, ungraded listings, so I mean, this card has ticked up a little. You were able to get this for like 115, 120-ish. 
some even like as low as 105 like not that long ago now we're in the 160s here you can see um so i do believe that there is lots of room on this card even though it is over 8,000 tens. um if we look at the psa 10 prices here um we are in the 300s high twos low threes 300 dollars uh for sold listings i think that in a psa 10 that there's no way that eventually this is not at a minimum 500 hundred dollar card just based off the artwork alone the pop is high but not as high as the umbreon and charizard is one of the most popular pokemon so and this i i think this artwork is is god tier honestly like that's just me being heavy gen 1 bias so keep that in mind but absolutely stunning and i do like venusaur a lot as well so uh, maybe that factors into it but i think a lot of people would agree um that for sure and and this isn't about boxes this is about singles but the boxes are gonna really pop just because people are gonna want to chase this card same with lost origin so it, these sets while set strength is important you got to think about there's only one it only needs one good card for people to chase so that's why it's called a chase card um next up we'll look at the other singles so here are the singles from brilliant stars and you're gonna notice a trend this is gonna seem a lot like lost origin where i go oh yes the charizard is good no brainer i still think it has room um you know maybe not uh i don't know i could see this i could see this being in the twos for sure um this rcs is cool um i actually really like the artwork on this rcs 31 bucks um i think there's some room there um other than that it kind of falls off for me um i do like a few of these i do like a few of these birds here um we got the zapdos the moltres um i do think that they are these are you know they're okay they're gold they're cool um i'm not hating on them um but once again this is where i see the strength okay if you guys haven't been following these these umbreons dude this card was like a 15 20 card not that long ago it's already doubled and so this is what happens it's the same thing i've been talking about it happens in in everything but especially in pokemon cards get too high right people will people are going i don't want to spend that much which is totally fine they don't want the uh they don't want the moonbreon so then they go for the v now the v is too much you go you you chase the next one where where did that lead them to the v max okay here in, in the brilliant stars um trainer gallery then okay what if this one is too expensive right here okay so and then when when the sets when the sets become popular they sell out these other cards Will come up in value it's just the natural like i see really strong strength here let's i mean sylveon two both of these sylveons um extremely popular um evolutions so no brainers i think there's room on these uh mimikyu um same thing 13 and 12 like adorable cool like and then um even this card has cool artwork and once again not as big of a fan as Ur of urshifu but eevee here Okay, I see uh, potential on this Eevee, two dollars and fifty cents. Are you kidding me? Um, then we'll talk Vaporeon, three dollars. Flareon, three dollars. Like Jolteon, two dollars. Okay. Once again, hard to grade, but this is where there's a lot of upside. Even if you're going to grade or or just keep for singles or whatever, sell singles, anything that you want. I think there's a lot of strength here on this first page of both. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that is going to be my uh that's my answer to your question of what i think about the singles from brilliant stars and lost origin uh, i think there's lots of room especially on those lower end trainer galleries um there's still room on the higher end just if you want more safe easier like lower dollar cards to get then that's what you got to think about so um depends on what you're looking for but i gave you quite a few options kind of my thoughts on the whole thing um but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. Uh, thank you so much for the question. If you guys have a question, you want me to make a video on it, just leave a comment. Uh, I read all the comments. I usually reply to all of them. And uh, if, you're ask, if you ask me to make a video, I'll probably make a video. So remember, it was never a phase. I'll catch you guys in the next one.